Hello and welcome back to a new video. My name is Melanie Josephine and I am the award-winning author of Love Life Simplified. Welcome, welcome, welcome. If you haven't subscribed, subscribe to my channel. I upload videos every week. I usually do a live stream on Monday and a video on Saturday. And my channel is all about dating, relationships, self-growth and more. So today, Actually, I'm doing a video that has nothing to do with this. Well, a little bit actually. I'm doing a monthly favorite and I honestly don't know how people can do like, like I could never do this video every month because most of these favorites are favorites that I have most of the time. So they're not just this month's favorites, but um, some of them are. So we are talking about um, this this month of November and I have written down a couple of um, favorites that I'm going to show you if I have them here talk about them a little bit and maybe inspire you because that's usually what happens when I watch these sort of videos I usually get inspired to do or buy something which is not a bad thing um, so let's actually start with the books that I have in front of me here that I'm reading this month um, and one, if, if you have watched any of my live streams, you probably already heard of this book. It is Transurfing in 78 Days. If you don't know what this book is about, it is basically um, for the 78 days, you read about two pages in this book and it gives you like a little lesson, a bit of advice, like each day is a little bit different, but I definitely look forward to this every single day. It's so good and I think that this is not the last time I've done this when I finish this. I am currently at um, day number 40. When I finish this I think I might do it again. I don't know if I do it again immediately but I'll probably do it again eventually. So I can definitely definitely recommend this. It's called um, A Practical Course in Creating Your Own Reality. So it's all about manifestation and creating the life that you want to live and while we're talking about this I want to share one of my favorite quotes this month is um, if you looking for a person to change your life look in the mirror I don't know if I said this exactly right but you get the point I think this is such a powerful quote so powerful okay let's get to the next book this book i discovered because um there was a video that was suggested to me on youtube <laughs> i watch a lot of you youtube and um it was a video by oprah and eka tolly and they were talking about this book a new earth funny enough i have actually purchased this book a couple of years ago i bought this on my Kindle, but my Kindle is now in Germany and yeah, there you go. But I, I wanted to have a hard copy of this anyway because I am using, I have not listed this as a favorite, but I probably can. I'm using my highlighter and I was highlighting a lot in this book. And why do I love it? I really, really love it. So I think I've done about one third, so I'm probably going to, um, read this also in December but um, the first time I bought this book I probably wasn't ready for this book because the first time I bought it I think it was in the beginning of my self-growth journey and my self-growth journey started five years ago and people did say to me that Eckhart Tolle's books are a little bit difficult to read and the fact that I don't find it hard to read yeah pretty much at all I don't find this hard to read now means that this is the right time for me and I really really get where he's coming from and actually I think this is a perfect time for me to read it I, I really need this right now especially because we're in lockdown again and if you know Akatoli you know he's all about the now his I don't know if it was his first book but one of his books is called The Power of Now I think that's a book that is most well known and probably most people have read it I actually haven't that's going to be the next book after I finish this but I love it so much because it's so truth telling and if you've uh, seen any um, interviews with Eckhart maybe you know this but when Oprah was interviewing him he was explaining how this book came to him 
and it's fascinating. It's like he was just totally called by the universe to write this book and it's absolutely fascinating and um, I can just totally recommend this. It is, yeah, all about learning to be in the now and how all of the power lies in the now because the, the truth is, and I've heard this before, but I, I think I needed to hear this again, is that usually when we feel bad, it is because we think of something in the past that is upsetting us or we're thinking about something in the future that worries us. But when we truly ask ourselves, well, is there actually any problem right now? And maybe there is for you, but very, very often the answer is no. And very often when I have asked myself this question recently, is there actually anything I need to be worried about right now? Not even later in the day, right now, right now in this moment, is there? And often the answer was no. And I'm just practicing this more and more and more to be more in the moment, to put my phone away more and more and just to be present and to practice this. Um, yeah, because ultimately that brings us more happiness, more fulfillment, because when we are not present in our lives, we are missing a lot of things. For example, yesterday I went for a walk and I was very present. And that means, yeah, I, I wasn't on my phone. I wasn't listening to anything. I was listening to the birds. I was listening to the cars go by. I looked at the people that walked past me. I actually smiled at them. Most of them smiled back at me. I looked at the children that came past me. Um, I looked at the dogs. I looked at the trees and the leaves, I look at, at the tube going by and I just had such a rush of positivity and love and I was just in this moment and nowhere else and that is why it is so so powerful and yeah just um, try it even if you don't read this book try it. Okay let's carry on. One of my favorites, not just this month, is this coffee. I bought this at Lidl. It's Deluxe Colombian Supremo Roast and Ground Coffee. And I've switched from... I've switched from um, this... Um, what's it called? Uh, this um, instant coffee to this coffee. I don't know. If, I, I know this is already like... Um, I don't even know how to say it. <laughs> ready to put in my French press but it's so much better than the instant and the thing is it is not more expensive it's actually cheaper so mind-blowing crazy and then um, I thought I'd just grab this as well this is such a yummy chocolate I don't know if you've tried this this brand is amazing um, I think the brand is green and blacks organic and so far I don't think I've I've tried any other ones. I've only tried the, the white chocolate. Oh my gosh, it's so good. I usually only buy it when it's on sale. That's what I did yesterday. But it's so good. Should we, usually you should usually you should try it. <laughs> yes. <laughs> um you should try it and have it with some coffee or some tea. I'm thinking about doing this after this video. And not eat the whole bar in one go if you can, if you can contain yourself. Then I bought this one. Oh my gosh, I'm such a calendar girl. I love calendars. Um, so this is a 221 diary and I bought it at Roman and I buy every year I buy the same one. Um, it's, it's just so handy because, um, look, wait, I'm gonna, Oh my gosh, I've, I've written so many things already. What? Okay, hold on. Okay. Um, because it has this really, really nice overview over the week. And in, I know it's not like a lot of space, but I find this easier than a big um, calendar because this fits in my handbag. I can take it everywhere and I can just look it up. And I just prefer this to... Um, 
a calendar, like a digital calendar. I just prefer this. Um, those are all the things I want to share uh, to show you. However, I've written down a few other favorites. So <laughs> I've written down my Lululemon leggings. Um, I got these leggings from my boyfriend for my birthday, and I know Lululemon is um, a bit pricier but if you want to treat yourself or if you know somebody who wants to treat you for Christmas then that could be something because I'm wearing them a lot and they're really really beautiful quality and yeah it's I just really like them um essential oils actually I do have that to show you I bought this on Amazon this is the brand Nascent and it's supposed to be like organic and all that <laughs> And uh, this is Lavender True and I love this. I recently bought um, another one from from Nascent. I bought lemongrass and I didn't like it that much. Um, but lavender, I love it. And I think I want to buy something with rose. Um, oh my gosh, my battery is about to die. I have to be quick now. Okay. Um, what else? Oh, Autumn Walks. Probably um, going to be finished soon. The leaves are all coming down. But that's been one of my favorite things to do. Just to go for walks. Especially because there isn't much else to do in lockdown. Um, making advent calendars. Oh my gosh. I made five. Okay, I made two in an exchange. One with my brother. One with a uh, really good friend in Germany. And then three I just felt inspired and excited. And I made three as gifts for friends. And I think that's it. That's it. Yes, I hope you enjoyed today's video. Give it a thumbs up if you liked it. Great.